everybody asks how fast does it go, how far does it go, how much does it cost, and why did you do it? In the summer of 2008, I decided that I wanted uh, an electric vehicle, and uh, I just figured I'd go out and buy one, but nobody, nobody sells one. They, they really don't exist. So, uh, so I decided that I'd have the, the bright idea of making one. Really, my inspiration for this was a, a gentleman in uh, New Zealand who converted a, it was a Mitsubishi Tridia, and uh, he, he didn't have any tools. He, he just did it in his garage, and I was really impressed with, with the quality of his work with uh, the amount of tools that he had access to. So I figured, well, if he can do it, then, then I guess I can do it too. This battery is isolated from the others. The, like this battery is grounded to, uh, to the chassis. So if I need a ground <laughs> anywhere, I can you're just you're tap into that. that. I'm in the Department of System Science and Industrial Engineering. Uh, getting systems to work together is, is what that's all about. And that's, that's exactly what this is. You've got it, the drivetrain system, you've got you know, all these different you know, the braking system, the, the electric system and you've got to incorporate them so that they all work properly and together. It's not really a matter of how often you charge it, it's you get home and you plug it in and that's, then it's ready for you the next morning and uh, it's really not been a problem. Max speed is about 65 miles an hour so it's capable of going on the highway. The setback is that you, you couldn't go to Chicago in it, you know, if, if you wanted to, to go longer distance. Um, electric vehicle is not the way to go, but for 90% of, you know, the, the U.S. is driving, uh, just going back and forth to work, you know, commuter doing the same route every day, um, I forget, it was something like 90% of uh, the states drives less than 25 miles a day. So if that's the case, then, then you've got a perfect application for an electric vehicle. As far as for a, a payback period, uh, I, I haven't calculated that yet, but this wasn't something that I did for, uh, for financial reasons. It was more, you know, why, why do people customize their cars in general? It's because that's something that they want to do, and this was something that I wanted to do.